Hi guys, all right, so I wanted to do a video. I just thought of this when I was putting on my makeup earlier. I don't know about you guys, but when I am at home and I have my makeup area or my vanity set up, I still have a makeup bag on top of my vanity and I tend to use everything from that. I feel like I've said this before. Occasionally I'll grab something in my big makeup stand, not very often. So anyway, I just have a big makeup bag that I throw everything in. So I always do current loves or this or that, but I wanted to do a video on products that I'm using every day. Um, you know, so here it is. Okay, so recently, let me just go through. I don't even know what's in here. I've been using the Naked One palette, the original. Um, I mean, it's terrible. Look at that. Quite a bit lately. I have so many palettes that I love, but this is the one that I've been that I have in my bag. All right, next thing, this is a blush. Um, it's Mac Warm Soul. This is one of my favorite blushes ever. All right, I have a ton of foundations. Let me go through these. I bought these recently. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I have two, they had buy one, get one half off. I didn't know my shade. I got 103 and 106. So depending on how much tanner I have on. Um, I do like this. It does mattify me, like it says. Um, and I have semi-oily skin. So I end up actually putting quite a bit of highlighter in between my brows and in some areas so I don't look super flat faced. But I do, I do like that foundation. I have L'Oreal True Match. This is one of my go-tos. I love this one. This is in the shade N5. The cap has a different number than the bottom. Hmm. N5.5, perfect beige. All right, I have Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer for if I'm just going to the gym or running errands and I'm not actually getting ready. Okay, I talked about this in a Current Loves and I wasn't sure about it. I love it now. It is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin and I am in the shade Bare Nude 09. Now I figured out how I love to wear this. What I do is put on moisturizer. You only need a little bit of this. It's super liquidy. I mean, you have to shake it up really well. Probably I do like one, two, three, four, five, six dots. That's it. And then I take a big stippling brush and blend it in and it works really well for me. And that's what I have on today. So you can tell it's pretty lightweight. It just makes my skin look like my skin, but cover up my blemishes and stuff, okay? Do I have any more foundations? No. All right, concealers. Maybelline 24, Superstay, love this. I use this to cover up my spots that I have. Oh, I don't really use this one. I have the Rimmel Match Perfect. I talked about this before. People were raving about it for under okay, the eye. Okay, this is real life. I'm in the middle of filming and it says, whoa, stopping, can't record, you don't have enough storage. <gasps> okay, so I was talking about the Rimmel Match. I will use this if I can't find this guy. This is my go-to all-time favorite. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle. I have it in brightener. I take off the, the spongy top. That's what I use under my eyes. I have that on today. So I, I don't know why I have that in there because I don't really use it. All right. Oh, I have this. This is the Benefit Fake Up. I've talked about this. It's an under eye concealer. I don't need to repurchase this. It's almost gone. I could just pitch that too. See, this is real. I didn't stage this. Okay, um, bronzer, I uh, love this, Laura Mercier in Ritual, the Bombshell Suite, originally raved about this, so I had to have it. I have that on today. I wear this almost every day. I also have, this is a great drugstore bronzer. It's Wet n Wild in Ticket to Brazil. This is really pretty too, super cheap and huge. You get a ton. I highly recommend this for bronzer. Oh, oh, I love this. I got a new blush. Um, this is from Milani. It's in a little rose. It's called Romantic Rose. 
This is so pretty. It's just a pretty pink. I have that on today too. Just gives a nice little flush. Pretty inexpensive too. Um, highlighter, MAC Soft and Gentle. This is also one of my go-to highlighters. I have that on today as well. I don't know if it'll pick up, but I love this. I love everything, huh? All right. I have NYX, <clears throat> excuse me, HD Studio. <coughs> NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder. I still don't know how I feel about this. It's supposed to be comparable to, la, la, comparable to Makeup Forever HD. I don't know. I have a lot of loose eyeshadows. They're all pretty much the same color, which you will see. I have the Urban Decay Naked, and this is in the Naked One palette. This is a great shadow to have. It's a little pricey on its own, 18, 20, I don't know, but I wear this all the time, so that's good. Um, but a nice kind of, I don't know if I'd say dupe to that because it's a little bit different, um, but NYX maybe later. This is a little bit warmer than the Naked, but the NYX is significantly cheaper. Yeah, the NYX is a more golden, but another matte crease color. Uh, MAC Era shadow. This is a great all over the lid shade, just everyday kind of shadow. Oh, what's this guy? I don't think I, oh. Won't be using him anymore. I hate that, don't you hate that? I have Milani in Bella Cafe. This is a pretty little shadow. It's not super pigmented, but it's a nice all over the lid shade. Look, these are all the same. Can you see it? These are all the same color. This is what I do. I get all the same color and everything, pretty much. Oh, I have another um, bronzer. Well, I use this as a contour. I got this in a little Too Faced beauty kit for Christmas. It's Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, in, which it smells like chocolate, and I don't really like that. I feel like I'm putting Hershey's powder on my face. And it's pretty dark and pigmented. This is medium deep, so I would assume they have a lighter one. But I have that as a contour today. And if you have too big of a heavy hand, it looks like you put Crayola marker on your face. So you really have to go easy with this. But I do like that. Mascaras. My favorite of the moment is Too Faced Better Than Sex. That was in this little thing too. I really like this. I have that on today. I didn't have my eyelash curler. So my lashes are a little schmuck. I bought um, recently, is this CoverGirl? Maybelline, CoverGirl. Full Lash Bloom. I like this too. It doesn't give me as much boo as the Too Faced, but I do like this. And then I have CoverGirl Lash Blash Fusion for waterproof, if I need waterproof. I have Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. This is for my brows. I lost the cap, so I used a color tattoo cap. Look at that. That's what I have on my brows. Benefit, give me brow, brow gel. Love this too, to add a little fullness. I've got some Tarte Black Liquid, no, Gel Liner. To be honest, I can't really tell the difference between this and some drugstore ones that I've used. I can't tell you the name of the drugstore because it's been so long. I'm sitting on my knees and my feet are asleep and they're really hurting. <sighs> I have a couple primers. I bought this a while ago. I talked about this. Benefit Stay Don't Stray. I don't need to repurchase this. And then I wanted to try, no I didn't. This was also in the little kit with all my Too Faced stuff. Um, but it's a Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I like this a lot better than the Benefit, but my favorite is still the Urban Decay Primer Potion. That's my favorite. This will still kind of crease on me at the end of the day a little bit. Not a lot, but enough to bug me. I have Benefit Brow Browsing. I like that for brows too, until I discovered the Anastasia, and I like that more. 
liquid liner. This is one of my favorite liquid liners. I talked about it before, Glam Eyes by Rimmel. It has a tiny little thing. See, nice, very nice. Two more things that I, no, I talked about that. Oh, one more thing, unless you wanna count a bobby pin. Um, this is a blush. Lisa SZ09 sent this to me years ago. I probably sh still shouldn't have it, should I? Oh well. It is, I've never even heard of this person. Dr. Hoshka, H Hoshka Rouge Powder in the shade, it's so gross, I don't even know. I can't, I can't even tell. I couldn't tell you, look at that. Um, but it is just a great, I don't know, pink, I, I don't know, but I have that in there too. So yeah, that is all the stuff that I have in my makeup bag that I use really on a daily basis. There are some products that I love more even than what I have in my makeup bag. These are just the ones that happen to be in my bag. Do you do that? Like if I'm in a hurry and I'll just grab stuff out of my drawer and throw it in there, this is what I'm using. So, these are all staples for me. So if you have any questions on any of that, let me know. And thanks for watching.